You know, first it was that it, it was when I first read it, I just thought this is an incredible suspense thriller, that, and I and incredibly entertaining, and also very moving. Uh, and I hadn't heard the story before, and I thought, did this really happen? And to be able to know that it wasn't everyone, for an American growing up, and you know, we know our ally, you know, from the ally perspective, and of course, it, you know, of course we know it wasn't everyone, but. I thought it was an important story, and and it also has for an audience, you know, everything that 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 I love in a movie, you know, and the, and when you read the history, it reads like a suspense thriller, and yet here are these men and women who had the integrity to stand up against a, you know such evil, such tyranny, and uh, I just had great respect for them. How did you compelling. For this? Yeah. I mean, what a story! I can't believe it. That's incredibly constant. This is great. Yeah. This is cool. <laughs> How did you prepare for your role? Spent eight months uh, before we started shooting, and it was every day. We studied film, read history, went through you know geopolitics from the late 19th century into the early early 20th century. I'm, I like reading and studying anyway, so it had all of that. And then we spent time there in Germany. Uh, went to the Resistance Museum, uh, looked at a lot of film, walked the streets. There are many things that we did to try to, to create what it must have been like. I mean, obviously we can't create the exact environment, but there were, there were times also that we, we were there just talking about things and said we moved all, no, no televisions in the office when we were doing this, moved all the Blackberries and cell phones out, and then, then went through the script like that, looking at how communication, how you know, you look at how propaganda and how, how the culture was inculcated into this, you know, into that ideology is that it was, so we looked at it going, oh, how is it that, uh, you know, these people went along with this and really studied very specifically where, you know, the history. And, so and you know, the pinhole block, Berlin, how was that? How, was, how did the Germans treat you? See, when well, you let the ladies go <laughs> no, first, I know, don't worry, you let the ladies go first, <laughs> don't worry, we'll get you. All right. I'm sorry. That was a moment, that was a very powerful moment uh, for all of us. Uh, when we were able to shoot there, I was very, uh, felt very privileged. And I thought it was important for the film, and, and I know for all of us, it was incredibly moving. And, and I wanted to make sure that we you know, in making this film really honored uh, the spirit and the people of the resistance. And so we took a moment of, of silence and uh, there were letters that were read out from, uh, uh, you know, people who were in the resistance. And, uh, you know, and as you see, it's a very powerful scene. And uh, it was, it's hard to articulate how moving that was. And uh, so good, good. <laughs> Nice to talk to you. Uh, so, Hi. starting off, I mean, there's some problems starting out from the film with people not wanting, you know, an American to be this this character, and also you had to be away from your family, and also it's such a, you know, deep story. Can well, my you, tell me, yeah. you know, what, my family was there, and actually, in truth, I know that 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 got a lot of play. Controversy always does, and in my, you know, I've things that I've lived with for 25 years. And when I make films, you know, there's, there has been things on pictures where you have that, and I know. But it, it actually, it wasn't like that when we were shooting. We, we got all the locations. Um, and in truth, w the kind of support that I always felt on the streets uh, from my crews was uh, incredible. We had the German government partially financed it. And I don't know, do you know what a Bambi is? Bambi Award? I'm yeah, I received Texas, a Bambi. So that was a great... Oh, Bambi. Okay. Well, Bambi, it's a beautiful golden deer, and, and it was an award that I received at the end of the year for courage in making this story and bringing this story to light. So those kinds of things, uh, you know, that's, and of course, that didn't quite get the play. It's not quite as juicy as the other stuff, but the outpouring that I got and, and thanks from people making it, of course, I understand that they, they wanted to make sure that it's done correctly. and, and in, with all of my films that I make, and, and our intention was always to make the best picture that we could possibly make, to make it both a very entertaining audience for, for an audience, because I make movies that are for a broad audience, but also as accurate as possible uh, historically and, as I said, honoring the spirit of, of these men and women.
So in the end, Tom, why Tom. this character? He's a powerful character. Uh, One question down and, here. And a powerful film. So, uh, I think a man who had tremendous integrity, and it's a timeless story. Here is, here is this, this guy who's the underdog going up against just tremendous odds. Uh, I, I just admired him and, and these people, and I thought that it's a story that I hadn't heard and I wanted to tell it, and, and that's why. I, I, you know, and we, we try to create moments. We try to, in movies, we, we try to come up with these things. We sit around with writers and directors, and yet this actually happened, and it reads like this suspense thriller. And when you go, this, is, this really happened. So both as an audience, you go, oh, you, you have that, that excitement that this is really happening and also incredibly moving. I mean, the excitement of the suspense and entertainment and also incredibly moving that, oh my gosh, this really did happen. And uh, it's on. that's like, you know, Thanks, something. It, Thank you very much, man.